WWE superstars go off script. Let's just address the elephant in the room. Yes, WWE is scripted. Like, totally scripted. You'll even find some raw scripts online that will make it clear how orchestrated every match is. It's an art in itself. Truly. Now, as much as WWE superstars have to follow what's already written down for them, there have been many, many times when they got carried away in the heat of the moment and ended up going off script. Lucky for us, these iconic moments are always extra entertaining. In this video, we're going to highlight the most legendary moments WWE superstars went off script. Make sure to watch all the way to number one. You won't see that coming. Bob Backlund botches up backstage. Known for his balls to the walls crazy behavior, nobody can tell whether Bob Backlund is genuinely insane or not. Lucky for him, that works in his favor sometimes. Kurt Angle recounted the embarrassing moment Backlund messed up on a script backstage. After a worker goes for a high five, Backlund was supposed to immediately perform the classic crossface chicken wing on the poor guy. Backlund takes a few seconds awkwardly asking him to stand up before the camera quickly cuts off. The horrified expression on Kurt's face at the end is absolutely priceless. Interestingly enough, Bob Backlund has been so over the top in the past that fans were none the wiser about this blooper. Quad Injury Known for his iconic power walks toward the ring, Vince McMahon paid the price when he made an energetic entrance. At the end of the 2005 Royal Rumble match, the chairman of the board performed his usual strut towards the ring, but tore his quadriceps when he jumped in. McMahon slammed both his knees at full speed against the hard, unforgiving steel and plywood edge of the ring, causing not one, but two tears. However, to everyone's surprise, the showman didn't break character and took the whole thing like a champ. Confidently remaining seated, he yelled out directives and played out the rest of his role. If there's one lesson you can take from this, it's to never, ever skip leg day. Stupid, stupid, stupid. In a memorable event, it's clear that the whole world can tell when Viper gets genuinely pissed off. In a 2009 match, Kofi Kingston and Randy Orton were in the midst of a pretty intense rivalry, something many thought would elevate Kingston to permanent main event status, until Kofi ended up doing something, uh, stupid. He forgot how the match was supposed to end, so he stood up when he wasn't supposed to, and Randy went for a sharp RKO instead of a scripted punt. The RKO he delivered that match was one of the sickest of his career, and we mean that in a good way. Orton seemed genuinely angry as he kept shouting stupid and a number of other profanities at Kingston, even spitting in disgust later. <laughs> Tough enough. WWE legend Kurt Angle was involuntarily caught in yet another unscripted moment this time with reality show contestant Daniel Pewter. In a 2004 match, Angle challenged the contestants of the reality show Tough Enough in a squat thrust competition. While Angle breezed through the first round by breaking his foe's ribs, he wasn't so lucky the second time around. Not one to accept defeat so quickly, Daniel Pewter put Angle in a Kimura lock, essentially pulling his arm so far back that it was super close to snapping. The referee immediately realized this and hurriedly counted to three, so Daniel would let go. Years later, Kurt has spoken very little about the incident, but Daniel has even sold I Hurt Kurt shirts. Hmm, class. Assault with Battery Shawn Michaels was quite the controversial figure during the 90s, and that led to some not favorable reactions. Three days before the mega event of WrestleMania 14 in March 1996, Shawn Michaels and D-Generation X were in the ring for some promo in front of the live audience. Suddenly, a battery flew out of the blue and hit HBK square in the mug. Without skipping a beat, he walked off and went backstage where he argued with Vince McMahon over his behavior for more than five minutes. 
reminder that HBK used to be quite brash and arrogant until he changed for the better. He calmly returned to the stage, and the rest is history. But we do hope the moron in the crowd got some bad karma for what he did. You never, ever walk out on your audience. Rock and Sock Connection This well-known unscripted moment is actually quite wholesome. In the beginning, The Rock wasn't too excited to be paired up with Mankind, as his personality was too serious in contrast to Mankind's cheerier one. But different incidents solidified the bond between the odd pair, including the sunglasses incident. While The Rock was energetically entertaining fans in the crowd, he hyped them up with his usual iconic phrases. If you smell... Then he turned around with such ferociousness that his sunglasses fell off his head. At this point, Mankind very nicely picked up the glasses and handed them back, to which The Rock responded, The Rock thanks you for that. That was a sweet moment. JBL vs. Blue Meanie ECW's One Night Stand in 2005 featured a whole mob of wrestlers having an absolute slugfest on the ring. This provided the perfect opportunity for JBL to take out his hidden anger at Blue Meanie in a very public way. While wrestlers care not to put their co-workers through too much damage, JBL abandoned all caution and dealt some pretty serious blows to Blue Meanie. A real fight broke out between the two wrestlers, and needless to say, Blue Meanie was quite messed up. Thankfully, they've since calmed down and behaved civil towards each other. Still, what JBL did in the ring that day was very unprofessional. Montreal Screwjob Would any list about unscripted WWE moments be complete without the dramatic Montreal Screwjob? One of the most memorable incidents in the history of wrestling was during the Survivor Series of 1997. Brett Hitman Hart and Shawn Michaels already had a serious feud going on. The champion was set to leave WWE for WCW and intended to win his final match against Michaels. But Hart didn't have the heart to give up his title to his arch nemesis. So Vince McMahon created a scheme. Ring the bell as soon as Michaels puts Hart in a sharpshooter submission. Everything went according to plan. Until, when the match was over, Hart spit in McMahon's face and assaulted him backstage. Mess with anything, but never mess with a man's pride. That's a wrap for our list of moments WWE superstars went off script. Did we leave out your favorite moment? Tell us about it in the comments. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for similar content. See you in the next one.